talking to Brain Food, where I tell you what's yummy and nutritious for your head. For today's episode, the 40th episode, I am talking about an independent graphic novel called Dark Anna and the Pirates of Kadath. Written by Aaron Duran of Geek in the City Radio, with interior artwork by Ethan Slayton and the sweet-ass cover by Kevin Stevenson, a Rose City Comic Con exclusive, Dark Anna is the fictional account of a real historical pirate as she traverses the seas of the dreamland of Kadath. And when I do say historical pirate, that is true. Dark Anna is based off of the very real life Christina Anna Skyette, a 16th century member of the royal Swedish family who said fuck it all and became a pirate alongside her brother. Dark Anna also did what few other pirates such as Ching Shi, a famous Chinese pirate, and Anne Bonny, a famous Irish pirate, did. She retired in peace in one piece. Issue Zero offers a wetting of the tongue of the kind of story that Ethan and Aaron have in store for you. And if you were unable to get this limited edition print, then I highly recommend you go to Comixology and buy it from the website there. Remember, buy it from the website, not the app. Creative themes get more money when you buy it from the website rather than the app. As for the story, it's rather short, a kind of introductory tale to Dark Anna and her crew as they take on a Zog trade flotilla. The, being inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft, the Zog are a strange, sinister looking lot, and yet it is them that you feel some sympathy towards as Dark Anna and her crew take them out with relative ease. Ethan's artwork is done up all in black and white, and it adds to the overall feel of the comic, of this adventure on these fantastic high seas that is down and dirty with the pursuit of gold and riches. To call it gritty and grimy doesn't quite fit, nor does it do it justice, as I can see this kind of artwork being right at home within the pages of some classic noir detective novel. Aaron Duran builds on this art, delivering a world of piracy on fantasy shores with a captain who is both merciless and merciful. You understand a lot of who Dark Anna is, I believe, with this exchange between her and the Zog Captain Flotilla. Hmm. This is an outrage, the captain says. Stop your tiresome sniveling, Captain, Dark Anna replies. Never in our history has such a betrayal befallen a Zog trade flotilla, the captain replies with. Stand as if you gared a piss for your station and hear my terms, Dark Anna shoots back with. You dare speak of terms after you slaughter my men, the flotilla captain says. Snirk. They do make it easy, Dark Anna says. God damn, that is cold. Now, the other reason, aside from the wonderful artwork and excellent writing that went into this short comic, that I wanted to discuss this comic is that there is currently a Kickstarter happening to bring about even more of this story to life. Now, while the Kickstarter has succeeded in reaching this goal, with, as of the time of this recording, 20 days left, I want to do what I can to ensure that it gets even more money. We are talking about an independent comic creator who's not backed by any of the major graphic novel companies, such as Marvel or DC or IDW or Dark Horse. Both Ethan and Aaron lead full-time jobs, and they want to tell this story how they want to tell it. So go to Kickstarter and look up Dark Anna and the Pirates of Gadath. There are still a large amount of rewards for the $5 to $20 range, as well as some amounts of rewards that are still steadily shrinking for that size and up. Heck, there's even a $2,000 reward, wherein Aaron and Ethan will fly you down to Portland, Oregon for two days to party with Portland's own pirate group, PDX Yarrr. So if you want to help out a pair of underdogs achieve their dream, first off, go to comicsology.com, the website, 
not the app, and buy this comic. Then go to kickstarter.com and back this project. And while you're there, help out a good friend of Aaron Duran's, one Mr. Keelan King, a.k.a. Pontone, a.k.a. the biggest fan of Farscape, this side of the North American continent, and back his project, Star Pilot's Demise, which is a really fun piece of geeky sci-fi music. You be glad you did. I'm Triple J, and that's all I've got left to say. Take care. Oh, <laughs>